What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, we're going to talk about an extension that allows you to randomly apply scale and rotation factors to objects in your model. And before we get started, I do want to take a second to thank my newest supporter on Patreon, Mike Lornitis. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, uh, maybe check out that link in the notes down below. Um, one perk of being a supporter on Patreon Patreon is you get to vote on my extension that I cover every week in these videos. Um, so this week my Patreon supporters voted and the extension they picked is CLF Scale and Rotate Multiple. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, CLF Scale and Rotate Multiple. Plugin developer, Chris Fulmer. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it both from the SketchUp and Sketchication extension stores, or by following the link in the notes down below. Tool Functions This extension is designed to help you quickly and easily take groups and components and apply scale and rotation factors to them. It's broken up into two functions, Scale and Rotate Uniformly and Scale and Rotate Randomly. Scale and Rotate Uniformly can be used to apply scale and rotation factors to a group of objects at the same time, meaning you can use this to take multiple objects and make them bigger, or to rotate objects all at once, or to do both at the same time. Honestly, I see the multiple object rotation function being used much more than the uniform scale, but feel free to chime in and let me know one way or the other. The way each one of these options work is you can scale along different things. For example, scale along axis We'll scale each object based on the individual component axes. Scale along component base will scale each object based on the base of the component. Scale along center will scale the object out from the center point of the object. Finally, scale about world applies the scale factor based on the world axis rather than each individual component axis. This can be useful for randomizing locations of different objects in your model. Scale and Rotate Randomly will apply a random scale and rotation to each individual object based on the inputs that you provide. This extension gives you the option to set a minimum maximum scale factor as well as minimum maximum rotation. This allows you to customize your scale and rotation factors to keep your objects within a size and rotation range. Probably what you'd end up using this extension for most is randomizing plantings, trees, and other landscaping objects. This is an excellent landscape architecture tool because it allows you to randomize objects in the same way that things are random in real life. You could also use the scale about world option to randomize placement of objects as well as size and rotation. One of the other things that could be useful about this extension is if you wanted to use it in conjunction with the extension Make Fur. Make Fur, which I've discussed in the past, allows you to randomly place objects and randomize the size, but you can't go back and edit those objects after the fact. However, if I was to go in this forest model that I've created before, I could go back and I could readjust the scale of the trees until I get the effect that I like. So if you couple this with that extension, that allows you a level of randomness while also allowing you to be specific with your results. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this an extension that you're interested in? Do you have some ideas for some stuff you could do with this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.